beautiful friends, what is going on? My name is Zed Shah and in this video what I want to be talking about are the benefits of dairy milk kefir and also talking about my experiences of taking dairy milk kefir. Now the first thing I need to clear up is the actual pronunciation of the word kefir. I notice there are some people online who pronounce it as kefir but it's not. The traditional way of pronouncing the word kefir is kefir. What dairy milk kefir is, is a fermented drink where you mix kefir grains with either cow's or goat's milk. The origins of dairy milk kefir date back literally thousands of years and where it really has its roots are amongst the shepherds of the Caucasus mountains in Central Asia. It was even mentioned by the famous traveller, the historic traveller, Marco Polo. And what the shepherds actually found was when they carried the milk in their leather pouches out and about, it would actually ferment into like an effervescent type of beverage. Up until recently, it was only really common amongst Central Asia and Eastern Europe and Russia. But over the recent years, it's made a massive uh, popularity across Europe and North America. The kefir grains themselves, they kind of resemble what I would describe as a cross between in terms of appearance, uh, cauliflower and cottage cheese. So if you imagine the kind of look, feel and texture of those two, that's what kefir grains look like. And what kefir grains are, they're essentially a complex microbial mixture of lactic acid, bacteria and yeasts in a polysaccharide protein mix. And what the kefir grains do when you mix them with the milk, they actually consume all the lactose and the sugar inside the milk thus producing a fermented beverage that is actually brimming with healthy bacteria. In terms of the number of strains of healthy bacteria within dairy milk kefir, they range all the way from 20 strains all the way up to 120 to 130 strains. Now if you consider that in comparison compared to the store-bought or the chemist bought the health food shop bought uh, probiotics, you know, that's still a considerable amount. When you go to your typical health food stores, outlets or supermarkets, a lot of the probiotics there are typically two to three st uh, strains, possibly even four or five, uh, and they're extremely expensive. Whereas when you look at dairy milk kefir, regardless of how many strains, you know, the estimates uh, say there are in there, you know, it is exponentially more than what you get in the store-bought probiotics. And also, the dairy milk kefir, the probiotics from that, are considerably, drastically cheaper than the store-bought probiotics. Essentially, the cost with dairy milk kefir is really the kefir grains, which is a one-off cost. And after that, the only cost is the actual milk. Now, you may be thinking, you can actually buy it in a lot of outlets. You can buy a store-bought kefir. Only recently they've started stocking them in the UK supermarkets, only very recently. But up until now, especially here in the UK, they're quite common in especially Eastern European shops and Turkish shops. Uh, and there you find the store-bought kefir. However, this is the number one problem with the overwhelming majority, especially the Eastern European shops and the Turkish shops, is the kefir that you buy from there is actually pasteurised or sterilised which essentially defeats the objective of drinking kefir grains, right? Because you want that healthy bacteria, but through either the pasteurization process or the sterilization process, you actually destroy that bacteria. So even though you can actually buy the kefir mixture in shops currently, the reality is, is that it's just useless. It's not gonna do the actual benefits what it's designed to do. And also it's extremely expensive. Only recently in the supermarkets in the UK, they've started stocking proper kefir and it's really expensive. So either which way you look at it, you wanna avoid the store-bought kefir grains and really um, actually look at uh, making your own uh, dairy milk kefir using your kefir grains. Now in terms of the actual process for making dairy milk kefir, at this point it's important for me to stress that I have done an accompanying video to this one that you're watching right now, which goes into incredible detail on how to make uh, dairy milk kefir. I talk about where to source the milk, I talk about where to source the grains, I talk about the implements you're gonna need, which is not much really to be honest with you, the majority you have lying around in your kitchen. And so I go into incredible detail in that video where to source all of those items you're gonna need to make dairy milk kefir. I also go into the detailed process of making dairy milk kefir and also some advice in terms of actually consuming dairy milk kefir. So if you want to go check that video out which accompanies this one that you're currently watching, I'll put a link below in the description. I would highly suggest you go and check that out 
and that video compared, you know, matched up with this video that you're watching now will give you the complete overview of what you need to get started with consuming dairy milk kefir. So watching that video will kind of fill in the gaps that you, know, you feel this video may not have covered. And because that's such an incredible detailed process, uh, which is not complicated, but there are a lot of caveats that I needed to cover. Because here's the thing, I've been taking it for over two years now, almost daily, and I've been making it on a regular basis. So I've had a lot of experience in making this and seeing the potential pitfalls that people um, face when going about making their own dairy milk kefir. So like I said, I will link to that video and I would highly recommend you go check that out. Now, one question may arise, what if you're lactose intolerant? Well, here's the thing, because the kefir grains actually consume all the lactose and sugar in the milk, the reality is, even though you're lactose intolerant, you can actually drink dairy milk kefir. Obviously, I would err on the side of caution, try a little bit first, and then obviously see how you get on. But the reality is, even if you're lactose intolerant, dairy milk kefir is actually perfectly fine to drink. So in terms of the actual benefits of drinking dairy milk kefir, they are absolutely numerous. Dairy milk kefir helps boost your immunity. Dairy milk kefir helps build bone strength. What dairy milk kefir also does, it helps balance the bacteria in your gut biome, thus regulating your hormone production, etc. Dairy milk kefir also drastically helps improve your resistance to allergies. It also supports digestion and helps combat IBS, i.e. irritable bowel syndrome. Dairy milk kefir is also a fantastic source of nutrients. It also contains powerful antibacterial properties and also very, very powerful anti-inflammatory properties. You see, back hundreds of years ago, the shepherds in the Caucasus of Central Asia very quickly realized the huge benefits to take in dairy milk kefir and actually kept it secret for a very long time before it gained popularity here in Europe and also the US. So in terms of my actual experiences of taking dairy milk kefir, I'm gonna do a more detailed video about what I went through, which is essentially a symptom called leaky gut. And it's gonna require a completely separate video for me to go into because it's quite an involved story in terms of how I came about actually getting it and then ultimately how I cured it with dairy milk kefir being a big factor within the healing process. So if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to my channel uh, and in the near future, I will be doing a very detailed video about leaky gut. But just to give you a brief overview, so I am born and raised here in the UK, I've got a passport to prove it. And so my entire life, I've eaten a very conventional Western diet and also home cooked Asian food. Now, contrary to popular belief, you know, Asian food generally is actually not that healthy for you. Okay, so a lot of oils, a lot of fats, you know, sweets contain an incredible amount of sugar. The foods you know, contain a lot of salt, a lot of spices. So that combined with your traditional processed food Western diet was just playing havoc to my system. So what happened at the time of making this video a number of years ago, I uh, got into a bit of an accident and I injured one of my ankles quite badly. And cut a very long story short, it turns out I had a blood infection. And I went for numerous tests over many, many months because as a result of that, my immunity more or less crashed. And also I got a very severe eczema. It's actually called weeping eczema. So it sounds a bit gross in terms of the way you describe it, but it's essentially like normal eczema is very kind of dry, flaky skin, but this is where, you know, it's actually weeping, it's like pus coming through. It's a very disgusting thing to look at. Uh, and I got really bad weeping eczema. So my health just went completely haywire. And a lot of other things were going on in my life at that same time. So I went for numerous tests with the local hospitals, the doctors, a dermatologist, a, you know, expert specialist, the list goes on. And it went on for almost five months on every test that you can imagine. So I went after five months, I got an assessment. I'm sitting there thinking it's gonna be this elaborate kind of you know, uh, uh, response in terms of all the tests that they've taken and their conclusion as to what's actually wrong with me. I remember walking in to the doctor's office. He didn't even look at me. He had a nurse behind him. They were both busy writing away on some paperwork. And he goes, Mr. Shah, take a seat. He goes, and this is literally the extent of the consultation after five, six months of tests. He goes, you've got eczema, you've got very severe eczema, and you've also got a blood infection which they couldn't identify. You're gonna be ill for the rest of your life. Here's a prescription, see the chemist on your way out, and then best of luck, take care. And that was literally it. The whole consultation, I kid you not, was over within less than about a minute and a half. And he didn't even look at me the whole time. I remember grabbing a prescription just in shock, like, 
what, what did you just say? And I knew I had eczema, okay, uh, and I knew I had a blood infection, but I got told categorically I've got this now for the rest of my life. And so I walked out in this day thinking, what the hell is going on? You know, this is madness. And the prescription was like that long of every medication you could think of. For eczema, it's really strong uh, steroid tablets, steroid creams, and, you know, uh, antibiotics. Uh, I mean, the list just goes on. So I remember sitting outside, I didn't even go into the chemist, I sat on a bench just outside the clinic, and I just looked at this prescription thinking, this is madness, I can't be taking all of these, you know, uh, uh, medication. So as of that point, I ended up doing a lot of research, and I was doing some research up until then, but up until that point where I got told categorically what's wrong with me, and I got told that I'm never going to heal again for the rest of my life, and I need to be on medication permanently, I set about doing an incredible amount of research, and this is where the topic of leaky gut came about. Now, I've never even heard of the term leaky gut, but what the hell is leaky gut? So once again, I will do a separate video going into a lot more detail, but just to give you an overview, what leaky gut is, 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 is this new epidemic that's sweeping across the Western world. And what it really is, is the gut of your lining being worn away over many, many years due to gluten, processed foods, sugar, etc., and really just the junk Western diet. And what it does, it wears down the lining of your gut. You see, when you're eating food and you're consuming drinks, it goes into your gut and your gut obviously breaks it all down. Now what then happens is, it's through the membrane in your gut, all the good particulates from the food and drink pass through into your bloodstream, and obviously that gets utilized by your body, and the rest of it literally goes out of your system. And what happens with leaky gut is over many, many years, that lining of the gut slowly wears down. So the pores actually become bigger. And so now when you're eating food and drink, not only are the good particulates passing through, but everything's passing through. And so what happens is this, is that your, your white blood cells think, oh, hang on a second, we've got toxicity in this body, and they start attacking it. And it just becomes an overdrive, but they're now attacking everything. And so what happens is this, is that numerous side effects occur. For me, it was obviously extremely bad eczema. Uh, but then a whole litany of things happen. You can have uh, drowsiness, uh, lethargy. Um, it can affect just a numerous aspects of your health. And once again, I will go into a separate video, going into all the numerous things that it does affect. And so I came across that and I thought, wow, hang on a second. I'm, I'm pretty sure I've got leaky gut here. And what you can do is actually go for a gut test, which I did, and it came back that, yeah, you've got leaky gut. Now, I actually brought it up with my doctor, who completely dismissed it. And sadly, the currently, especially in Western medicine, they completely dismiss this whole notion of leaky gut, when the reality is you go online, you're probably watching this on YouTube, do a search for leaky gut, and you will see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos about people talking about the experiences with leaky gut. So, fast forward, I looked at, well, how can I heal this? Because you can actually heal leaky gut. And I came across a, a gentleman in America, in California, called Dr. John Bergman, who's got a phenomenal YouTube channel you should highly check out. And he, I, I get like a masterclass in understanding how the body works and the importance of probiotics. Now, I've always been familiar with probiotics. I'll be honest with you, I've never really paid it much attention. And it's obviously been over the last decade or so, starting to gain, gain a lot of prominence in terms of the benefits of probiotics. So with leaky gut, it comes down to eliminating a whole load of foods from your diet, which I did for about uh, almost 10 months. I eliminated gluten. Um, I'm already vegetarian, so that wasn't an issue. Uh, you eliminate dairy, you eliminate just basically any toxicity that goes into your body, which is a very difficult thing for me to do. But I did that, and now you introduce uh, very strong probiotics. So like I said, dairy milk kefir was the number one player within that. Uh, within the whole probiotic space, it's like the super probiotic. Uh, and yes, even though I've eliminated dairy, like I said, it consumed, the grains consume the lactose in the milk and the sugar. So basically it's perfectly fine. So dairy milk kefir played a massive, massive role in helping me cure my leaky gut. And what ended up happening was after 10 very kind of like brutal months of eliminating all these foods from my diet, which is very difficult to do, and I did that, and then at the same time introducing very strong probiotics uh, and other you know, healthy foods into my diet, but primarily probiotics, I was able to cure my leaky gut, and subsequently I cured my eczema. You know, So the only thing I have left now are some eczema scars, which are very slowly healing, but the eczema's healed up, the blood infection is completely gone, and touch wood, I'm totally fine, and I haven't touched the medication that I was given. Apart from the steroid cream on just maybe a handful of occasions in the early days, 
uh, when the aspirin was extremely bad, the reality is I didn't touch the rest of it. And so I remember going back to the doctor and I told them what I did. And they said I was mad, you know, that there's no way this could have healed. And he was just shocked, he couldn't believe it. How the hell were you able to cure your uh, blood infection, your eczema, all of these issues? How were you able to cure it? Because they said I'm gonna have it for life, but not only cure it, but cure it without the medication and with probiotics. And he just couldn't work it out and he thought I was fibbing him. So the reality is, you know, thankfully, touch wood, you know, I'm in a position now where I've healed my eczema, healed my leaky gut, um, and the probiotics, especially dairy milk kefir, has played a crucial, crucial role in solving that for me. And don't just take my word for it, do your search online and you'll see the myriad of people that has helped out. So those are my experiences in terms of me taking it. Like I said, I will do a very detailed video about leaky gut because there is a lot more to it in terms of the before, during and after. And so, you know, subscribe to my channel and in a future video very soon, I'll be talking about that topic. But in terms of my experiences, I'm not understating when I say dairy milk kefir has completely revolutionized my health. Uh, it's actually transformed my general well-being. My immunity has skyrocketed. Yeah, I've never taken probiotics in my life. So you can imagine before taking it, especially if you've ever taken um, a course of antibiotics, which I can assure pretty much 99% of you out there at some point in your life have taken a course of antibiotics and have actually dis, you know, absolutely incinerated antibiotics in your gut biome. And so you more than ever, you need something like dairy milk kefir to radically boost that up. You see, you never fully eradicate the bad bacteria. All you do is most people have a high proportion of bad bacteria in the gut and little to no good bacteria. And what you want to do through taking dairy milk kefir is change your equilibrium. So you have overwhelming majority of good bacteria in your gut and the bad bacteria are always gonna be there, but they're a very, very small colony. And touch wood, dairy milk kefir has allowed me to reach that equilibrium where the majority of the fauna in my gut, because I have had tests to prove it, are overwhelmingly healthy. And I could feel that in my day-to-day -day being. You know, I used to be in a position where I used to fall ill all the time my entire life. And touch wood, I don't feel anything now. Literally in the past two years, I'm not joking, I haven't once fallen ill. If I've had any ill type symptoms, it's because of the detox that I've been doing at that time. But in terms of just day to day, touch wood, nothing at all. So overwhelmingly, you know, dairy milk kefir has been profound in terms of the impact it's had on my life. Once again, you can do your own research and you'll just come across thousands of people uh, here on YouTube and across social media that have nothing to gain by telling you the same thing, that how much dairy milk kefir has revolutionized their health. So the last thing I want to touch on briefly is Taking dairy milk kefir on its own is not gonna give you the full impact of its potency with probiotics. And what do I mean by that? Meaning if you've got a junk diet, if you don't exercise, if you don't do any of these things and you're just eating pure junk on a day-to-day -day basis, taking dairy milk kefir will obviously help, but you're not gonna feel the full effect. So it's very, very important that it's not a one-stop shop taking dairy milk kefir, that it's gonna solve all of your issues. It's most definitely gonna help. But what's extremely important, and I say this in a non-preaching way, but I say it because to stress the importance of it, you have to take dairy milk kefir in accordance with a holistic approach to your health. And what I mean by that is, is taking note of your diet, you know, uh, hopefully eliminating at the very uh, least reducing the intake of processed foods, looking at things like your gluten intake, your sugar intake, processed foods, meat, things of that nature. But the point is you really need to take it an approach where you know, you're taking care of, of your overall diet. You've got to be drinking lots of water. You've got to minimize you know, things like coffee and tea and fizzy drink, things of that nature. Also in terms of health, you know, you've got to look at your overall approach to health. You've got to look at your mindfulness practice also. Things like meditation, things of that nature. Yoga uh, has been a huge impact on my health as well as meditation. And also exercise, you know, you've got to be exercising. So in short, taking dairy milk kefir on its own, it's going to have an impact on your health in a positive way, but you're not going to feel the full benefit. And really for you to feel the full benefit, it's got to be taken in a holistic approach. You're looking at everything in your day-to-day -day lifestyle from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. So it's very, very important you take it as a holistic approach. So there you go, that wraps up my video talking about the benefits of dairy milk kefir and also my personal experiences in taking dairy milk kefir. And like I said, it has genuinely had a profound impact on my health. 
And as I mentioned already, I will be doing a separate video on Leaky Gut, but I've given you hopefully enough of an overview uh, to show, you know, maybe if you're suffering from something similar like IBS or Leaky Gut or anything of that nature, how much yo milk kefir will benefit you. And also, as I've mentioned, I have already done a video, a very detailed video talking about how to make dairy milk kefir. So the link to that will be in the description below. If the video on the leaky gut is already out by the time you're watching this video, then check the link below to that also, and hopefully that will take you to that. So to wrap up this video, do check out the links that I've given you. I hope this video has helped, helped you in better understand the benefits of dairy milk kefir. Needless to say, if you have any questions or queries, I'll do my best to answer. Feel free to comment down below. Also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, be sure to do so. I have a lot more videos of this nature coming out soon. And so, I do sincerely appreciate you watching. And until the next time, this is Zed from Zed Shah. Peace out.